What's up gamers? Welcome back for some more good vibes and video games. Oh, this story is getting crazy. I'm so confused. We keep getting hints from the curator, but I'm having kind of a hard time deciphering like what he means. All I really know is that there was definitely something hidden on the ship that the people in charge must not have wanted other people to see. They wanted it to be heavily guarded. That's what we've been finding out through all the notes. There's been something like maybe ghost related or some sort of creature that was running around the ship terrorizing and killing the crew but I have noticed that there's some guy in the background that's kind of like in an old suit with a hat on and he keeps showing up he's been showing up more and more recently but he just shows up briefly in the background for like a little bit he's all blurry we can't even see what he looks like I think he kind of looks like the curator with just more clothes on. I don't think it's actually him though, but I've also been seeing a lot of duplicate people where I'm pretty sure we were being chased by an apparition or like a second version of Alex and he was running after the other Alex, I'm pretty sure the real Alex and Julia, and I think he was trying to kill them. I don't think he was trying to help them. There's several reasons why I'm kind of confused. And then at the very end of last episode, we were given a hint saying that there's possibly more politics involved than there is supernatural and science. As in there's more science and possibly politics involved than there is maybe supernatural going on. I don't think this is some sort of elaborate prank. I, I mean, I kind of had that feeling during last episode, but I'm not so sure. Also, I do find it interesting that we have not seen the original kidnappers from like the very beginning of the game. I'm pretty sure one of them got captured, so I don't think he's here with us any longer. Let's just say that. So I don't know. I'm I'm kind of, you know, all over the place at this point. I'm really just excited to jump back in and keep the story going and keeping everybody alive. I still cannot believe at this point that everybody is still alive, but I'm so, so grateful. So far, I have not chosen really any violence and just trying to make smart decisions, trying to get as much information about what's going on as possible so that I can make some some of the best educated guesses that I can, but so far so good. Everybody's alive and I hope to keep it that way. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I really, really, really appreciate it and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. So with all that being said, let's jump back into Man of Medan. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, hmm. I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. Yes. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? I'm scared. That's real. Where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? Yes. Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. Mm -hmm. This should go over well. Okay. Okay. What happened on this ship? Where are the crew? What do you think actually happened to this place? Wish I knew. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Yep. Um... This place is weird, suspicious. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. Maybe the ghosts are trying to warn us. Maybe the ghosts what are What happened to, to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it, 
That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. <sighs> so maybe since we've been seeing multiple Alexes and we have this vision here, where, um, what's the vision where... No, that's not it. The one where we see Alex getting his head bashed into a wall? No. Okay. Of course. Wait, wait, wait. Was it this one? Okay, it's one of them, but we see Alex's head getting bashed into like a window. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. Maybe I it's not the real Alex. Speaking clinically, totally effed. Right. I know it sounds crazy, but. Maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. I like that idea. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. <laughs> Definitely looks like they were shot at. So why why did they have chemicals on the ship and why were they transporting it? Maybe it's for like some chemical warfare. And then it just, you know, it leaked on the ship. Killed everybody. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then pushing any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug, then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure there are no leaks. Okay. Wait a second. Was there a backside? Well, I just gotta double check. Aha. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Oh, let go of the hose. You may now breathe as you normally would. Replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. You may now remove your mask only when you are told it is safe and instructed to do so. Price the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply and pushing any potentially trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask and flexible cork inflexible corrugated hose into the carrier bag as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it is no longer required by unfastening the belt and shoulder sling. Gas mask will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. Yeah, so they were moving some very nasty chemicals.
but why? Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. I'm just glad they're all together. Oh boy, am I glad they're all together. What happens if we go back this way? Oh, it just drops off the side. Okay. Good to know. Wait up, guys! Wait up! No, 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 no. this way? What's she looking at? This also looks like a movie. Alright, let's go in here. Over here! Got a way through here. <sighs> well, we're not getting out. My God. Oh, hey, here's a secret. What? I don't. I think that was one of the kidnappers. Hold on a second. I want to go back out here real quick. Okay, it doesn't look like- wait. We can't go anywhere, right? Yeah. It's a dead end. Logbook. Huh. Last log shows them caught in a storm. No damage reported. Weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast crew bearing up. And windstorm at f storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM but causing no sustained damage. We're leaking some water but is under control. Navigator report seabed depth readable. AMC going down, noon thick fog, PM increasing head, PM- Oh, I had some other journals that I didn't turn the page. I wonder if, if I should have. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
locked. Check this door. Probably locked. Come on, Brad, what are you doing? Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. Not exactly confident about our chances. Hmm. Planned route? Actual route. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Hmm. was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off, heavy cloud cover. As yet unable to establish location. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday call broadcast radio contact intermittent attempted Morris. SOS many crew mm, dead. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh Um If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Oh no. We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello. That might be helpful. Hello. Is anyone out there? Please come in. Oh no. Hopefully that's enough information for them. Hey. Stay calm. Here, look. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitch is a machine gun. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm impressed. Seriously. Approval, yes! So what do you think? <sighs> um... If you're hey. sure you're up for it. You're sure you're up for it? I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. 
Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Hmm. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Okay, so we're splitting it from Alex. That's, uh... I'm afraid now. Oh, no. She's got a scratch. That's not good. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what the? Okay, so nothing there. All right, let's go. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Yeah, let's go to the sick bay. That sounds like fun. Screw that. Wait a sec. Some sort of altercation. I was like, we've seen that that safe before. This is the first couple rooms that we went to in the beginning. He's in the brig. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Mr. I remember Rainy this. Is lit to get that kind of time. Oh, dude, where are you going? Let's go in here. Mm hmm. Okay, we know exactly where we are. Yep, we already saw this. Mm hmm. Huh. Guess there was a guy named Joe in sickbay? Um... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's safe, that's safe, that's safe. It looks like it's open now. <gasps> Medical office report. Officers report minutes of meeting between Scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer, with Sergeant Peter Wood observing in X for a meeting with our team, says we can mutually learn for the same thing the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical biological agents in warfare. So I thought. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we were unable to describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian gold chemical munitions battle it was even relatively minor observed to trigger significant hallucinations men highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that were not really there even the danger was manifold and it, it's an oh <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! They're not actually seeing anything. Even even us. Even us. We're not seeing anything. They're all hallucinations at that green gas on the... I feel like the green gas that's still on the floor is, is probably affecting them and they're not actually seeing anything at all. They're not seeing any apparitions. All of the dead bodies that seem to be doing things, turning their heads, looking at them, running up to them, grabbing them is not actually happening. Like the curator said, so they have been testing that on people and it's been causing hallucinations. So it's possible that all of what they were seeing was not real back then in the 1940s. But what killed them?
what killed them. Wow. So he was right. I could actually, you know, enjoy this. It is more political. Well, uh, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm gonna say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Oh, there's that body still there. History of case diagnosis mild neurosis is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred by the line of dute, um, duty. Uh, existed prior to enlistment, no fit for service, temporary, that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week. So, Private Patterson today, who was attended. Who attended sick bay during that visit? I observed signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic. I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. So all of the people that were guarding that stuff started seeing things. He claimed these symptoms are very unusual for him is a fit, healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical conditions and exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and test for speech, reactions, memory, and decision making all appear normal. Okay. Wow. But again, what killed everybody? Oh, Jesus. We were there for this. Or at least when this was discovered. And then what stabbed Roberts? Like, it looked like that kid. This kid. So maybe, did he, so then did he see his son? Might have been the son of somebody on board. To Pops come back soon? So yeah, who did he get stabbed by then? If that was just a hallucination. This is the only way to go. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just. Wait! Uh. Are you okay? Yeah, uh, mm, all good. Just come down. Ugh. She's got shoes on. Somebody thought ahead. Oh God! What's up? That it, 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 it was. <sighs> wait, wait, did you see it? Um, hello. Okay, so I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so, follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So yep. maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. Yep. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal, we know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage. And for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Wow. I mean, yeah, but we do see that there is a potential that Brad gets stabbed, though. So what does he get stabbed by, possibly? So maybe not everything is fake. 
Van Linden Engine Works. Okay. Let's just look at that. See, we got some secrets here. It looks like... So what's the purpose of a lot of these just being... Um, connected? We found quite a bit. But we do have a little bit more to go. We're definitely over halfway though. You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. Do anything to this hose, maybe? I, I don't know about you. The scariest part about this game is the fact that he is not wearing shoes. Hey, hey! I found it! Oh, thank God. And it's working! Yep, this is it, alright. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Hey, what's the holdup? I just want to go back and check some stuff. There's got to be another way up. Interesting that if I don't choose to do it, she does it for me. We lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please state your situation. Over. We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Cool. Zap. Come on, work, damn it. I do want to check and see what was down the other way. Well, at least things are looking up. Everybody's alive so far. I still kind of want to see what's down here, if anything. Hmm. Oh, wrong button. Um, stand ahead, bell acknowledged, engine set to standard speed. Engine running standard speed with no special. No falls found. Okay, nothing really weird here. Full ahead, bell acknowledged, full speed ahead. So lighting machinery. Chief engineer entered engine room for emergency inspection. Okay. Oh. Look at this. Cut the ship into is actually anchored. I wonder why. Why? Yeah, I feel like I should have been turning the pages for some of the past journals, and I didn't do that, so I might have missed out on some entries. Keep going through past the generator. All right, so just through this door. Look at this. The rebreather. Well, we must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think talk about works? luck. Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Um. Mm. 
Yeah, let's just... Yeah, fuck it. Dead weight. Yeah. I'm gonna hope I don't regret that later. He's not dead. No! Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur! Ferme ta gueule de merde! Tu dis n'importe quoi! Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries! Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde! Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça! Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule! So he's our biggest problem right now. I messed up. Oh. I can't believe I just did that. I thought I I thought I effed that up. Why would he do this? We have to be very careful. He's crazy as a shit house rat. Poor guy. Wait. I think we should try to avoid that. I agree. Yeah. We've got a split. Go, go, shit, go. Oh no, no more of this, no more of this, please no. Please, no. There's no use hiding, you little fucks. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? You can have there it. There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. Where's Fliss? We're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deep? <laughs> okay, calm, calm, Can't calm. Can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Shh. Please tell me you have an escape plan. My palms are sweating. Shh. You can't risk moving. We can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch. Shh. Wait for an opening. Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine, and now I'm the one who gets to smash. Me! With my big fucking armor! I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of- Shh! Go! Stuff. 
Why are you watching? No! Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! There he is. Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's... life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. What? Inside with us, now. Please, just calm down! Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down, now! Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it. Oh no, this is it. Okay, all, all right, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. No. No, look. We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. No, we had a rebreather, but we left right it behind. Now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? Oh, this is it. This is it. It's in me, isn't it? We saw this. Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Hey, man, come on. Just put the. Oh, no. Oh, fucking shit. Was that inevitable? by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. Ooh, ooh. 
<sighs> Fliss, come here! I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. There he is. My hands are so sweaty. Let's not go towards him. Let's not. Let's not. And say we did. This must have been what we just heard. Yeah. Let's not. Okay. Oh no, what's that? Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. <sighs> Holy crap. Look at that shit. Excuse me. Okay, let's go this way. He's scared of us now. I don't know about that. Oh. Well, oh. Boy. there's something here. Okay, so he dropped his hammer. I'm not gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Wait, they need to get out of there. Oh great, now we're alone. Okay, so the main guy is dead? The main bad guy's dead? Right, he's dead? So it looks like he had a heart attack! Heart attack. Oh my god. Fuck! Ugh. Get the cap! Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. Shit. School me! <sighs> oh! No need for that! Jesus Christ. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Get off. Wow. Get out of there. There's no way. Get the cap, what are you doing? <laughs> Is it not real? Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I did it. No. Oh no. Oh no. No! No, Alex! No, 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 no. Oh no, I did it. Oh, oh no. I should have realized that nothing was nothing was real. I forgot. Oh shit. Shit. Nothing's real. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why did I- at the very end! I did it! That was- oh, he could have survived! He could have survived! Alright. Let's try it. We never saw Conrad again, ever. We never saw Conrad again. Boom, there he is. I'm so mad that I fell for the rat. I'm so mad that I fell for that. Oh no, no. What the hell is this place? What? What? No, 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 don't do it. Get back on that boat. Is it abandoned? Hello? Get back on the boat. Alex, Julia, are you guys here? I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. What? Wait, so me g going? I feel so horrible about this. I can't believe I fell for it. I can't believe I fell for it. I can't believe I fell for it. At the very last second, I was doing so well, and he died. And he died because of me, because I fell for it. I fell for it. I thought it was a real rat. No, I didn't. I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. That's it, game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. I could have- I almost saved everybody, dude. Impressive. Almost. Almost everyone survived. <sighs> oh, so mad. Almost. Except for... Alex. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions yeah. made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. 
Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Wow. Well said. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. That's the next game. Name drop. But be certain. We will meet again. It's oh, I can't wait. Inevitable. I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going to say that. Oh. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh. Oh my god, that was I'm I'm going to be beating myself up for that. I'm going to be beating myself up for the next several days because of that. I cannot believe. I cannot believe. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Everybody was alive until the very end. Until the very end. And I panicked. I panicked. I saw the rat. I panicked. And I had him stab himself. Why? Why would I do that? Why would I do that when we knew everything was fake? Nothing was real. All of that was a hallucination. I should have realized in that split second moment of panic that that rat wasn't real. I don't know what happened to the brother though. I think we have to assume that he probably goes in there after them, tries just endlessly searching for them even though they're not there, and probably goes crazy and meets the same fate. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this series. Very short, very sweet. Again, just how I like it. I enjoyed that so much. It was so spooky and creepy and the creators of Until Dawn have done it again. This makes me so excited to play Little Hope and House of Ashes now. I'm sure it's going to be good. Thank you guys for talking me into playing this. I'm really glad that there's two or more games in the series that we get to play. Maybe in the next one I'll be able to do just as well. If not better, hopefully maybe everyone will survive in the next game. I can't get over how fantastic that was and how eerie and suspenseful it was up until the very end. I think it's kind of cool that most of us outlived like the bad guy and he didn't end up killing anybody or any of us i'm so so devastated i cannot believe that you i cannot believe that i did that i'm sure you guys watch that and you're like no no you gave into your fear you gave into the panic i did i did i gave into the panic i did what this i think this whole game was trying to teach you not to do was not to make these gut like panicked decisions to kind of just play it calm, you know, diffuse the situation. At least we have two more games to look forward to. I'm very excited to check those out. I have Little Hope. I do own that one, so that one will be coming up very soon after this one. The only one I don't own yet is Little Ashes. Um, I'm sorry, House of Ashes, so I gotta pick that one up still, but we got some time. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love throwing a good horror game in there. They, these are truly fun games to play. It's, it is fun scaring yourself and kind of feeling tense and feeling immersed the whole time. Oh, 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 oh there's more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I had a feeling. I knew it. Ah! Oh, fuck. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. They're gone. Okay, very good. Is this a little hope? I know that guy. He's from that movie. He's from that movie with the guy from SNL. Yes, twenty twenty. The year that will live in infamy. Well, I'm glad I stuck that out until the very end. I got to see that little snippet there. What's that actor's name? And what's that movie's, uh, what's the name of that movie? I want to say he was in that movie with Jason Sudeikis. We're the Millers. That's, a, that's the actor from We're the Millers. What's his name? Yeah, okay, that's Will Poulter. I did not know that that was his name. Ooh, I'm really excited. Um, I didn't recognize any of the actors from this one at all, so I'm really excited to, you know, it's kind of cool when you have 
player and characters in the game that resemble somebody that you know or like that you've seen in other it's just very cool it kind of gets that a like level of attachment with characters and probably makes it harder to lose them if you do end up losing them i'm so excited for little hope that looks so creepy thank you guys again so much for watching again if you guys want to see any horror games that i haven't played yet on the channel definitely let me know down below in the comments maybe write it on some of my community posts i'm always looking forward to new games that I get to play. Hello, Toby. He just likes to walk in on here. If you guys are looking forward to seeing future games and the future, hello, and the other anthology games. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Definitely make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Have a great rest of your day. I know, buddy. One more second. Literally one second. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next series. Bye.